as I'm going along. Um, let me know how stuff is hitting for you. Type into the comments, uh, hit the emoticons. You can hit those as often as you want. Hello, Jessica, it's good to see you. Um, and we will sort of take it from there. Uh, also, after I get off of here, hello, Maria, it's good to see you. I love how I just see you actually popping in. <laughs> I enjoy that quite a lot. Um, so after I get off, I will be posting a couple of links um, into the comments section. Um, one is a uh, resource that I found pretty helpful. And then I'm also going to post a link to my website so you guys can sort of check out and see how what I'm sharing today is related to some of the offerings that I have uh, for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so this this is supposed to be a big one. It feels like a big one. Um, the challenge is today to really dig in and see what story I need to let go of so that I can really step out and be visible and do it in a way that is very aligned with who I am and how I want to show up in the world. And I, <laughs> there are so many stories um, that I hang on to that get in my way of doing big things. Um, so many stories that I have that really keep me small. And if I want to go big, and I do, I'm going to give you the big one today. And the big story that keeps me really small is the one that goes, it's not going to matter anyway. It's not going to matter anyway. And fill in the blank with, you know, whatever I say, it's not going to matter anyway. Whatever I do, it's not going to matter anyway. No matter how much training I got, no matter how much experience I get, it's not going to matter anyway. Fill in the blank. But the story is, whatever I'm going to do is um, just not going to matter. And I don't, I don't really see any other story that I have squashing my dreams faster or more completely <laughs> than the it's not going to matter anyway story. And, you know, if I, if I travel back in time and I look at where that story came from, uh, it, it really came from a lot of different directions. And what I see is a pattern of situations where uh, at the time I really felt helpless in some way. You know, helpless and powerless in some way. So, you know, that, that really creates a story of it's not going to matter anyway. And my dog is going to bark at the mailman a little bit. <laughs> and it's not going to matter. <laughs> Because we're going to keep talking here. Um, but yeah, a lot of situations, um, especially if I look back to uh, when I was growing up, uh, all of us have those stories uh, from growing up where um, we were helpless or powerless in some way, or we weren't completely helpless or we weren't completely powerless, but there wasn't much that changed on the other side of what we were doing. Hey, hey, shush. Shush. Stop. He's going to keep doing that, and we're just going to go with it. So what happened is not just, you know, the childhood stuff, the stuff that happened when I was young. The things that came after as I, you know, go out and I start to become a real live adult in the world, <laughs> um, there are other things that happen that totally reinforced that story 
Um, and the message that I got that no matter what I do, it's not going to make a difference. And, you know, I, I went to school to become an art therapist and a counselor. So my whole, you know, impetus was to go out and make a difference. Um, and really help people do what seemed impossible and uh, what that looked like was me living and working in some of the most challenging parts of Cleveland and what I mean by challenging is um, I was going into and working in uh, communities that were experiencing extreme poverty generational trauma, a real lack of overall resources, and hello Elise, good to see you. And I was also coming into sort of a generational outlook that left people seeing their future in terms of um, maybe in five years I'm gonna move down the street from where I'm at or maybe in five years I'm gonna move two streets over and it's gonna be really good or the biggie was I'm gonna move across town and things are gonna be good and it I, I would be lying I, I would so be lying and hiding if I said that living and working in that atmosphere did not have an effect on me because it did and at the time I thought you know oh you know I'm I'm supposed to just dig in I'm supposed to just deal with it because this is just the way it's supposed to be and what I'm doing is not gonna matter anyway and Hello, Chris. It's good to see you. I'm talking about stories that uh, I need to let go of so that I can do the big, beautiful things that I want to do. So, you know, what happened was part of me says, no, there, there's got to be a way to do this. And, and you know, through, through all the it's not going to matter anyway. There's always something that I come back to inside that says there's got to be a way. And I'm talking about like I could be in the deepest dark in in that that frame where um, you know I, I'm not just even having a bad day or a bad week but I am really struggling on a consistent basis to keep my head above water to just keep going and even in the midst of that to have that thing inside that says no there has got to be a better way there's got to be a way to do this there's got to be a way that what I do really matters and you know with that story that story number one isn't true it's not true. I know what I what I do matters. I know that. But not if I'm looking through the lens of that story. That story is a blinder. That story blinds me to the small ways that I impact people and the world around me. And it for sure blinds, you know, the bigger impact that I have because I can't accept it with that story in the way. I can't. None of us can. You know, a lot of my clients, when they first come to see me, they, they are in that state of, like, in the state of that story, that whatever I do is not gonna matter anyway, no matter the risk, no matter the effort, no matter the learning. <coughs> We're gonna wait a second. Hey, 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 get down, get down, stop, stop. Hey, Socrates, stop, stop. 
So they come to me in that state of like, I want to do big things. I've, I've got, I've got this like, this vision about something that means a lot to me. But I've also got this story of it doesn't matter anyway. And we, we work through that. We, we confront it, number one, because it's not true. It's not true at all. And, and two, we work through it. We create a different story. We create different rules by which they're going to go out and do the big, beautiful things that they really want to do so that they can have the kind of freedom that they want to have in their work and life so that they can have the kind of impact that they want to have in their work and life. And I, I know what it takes to do that, to, to take the leap, to take the risk, and to really knock down those stories that they're just, they're just not true. Now I will say that um, even though I know it's not true doesn't mean it doesn't come up. I, I had a hell of an attack yesterday for sure. Uh, I can call it an entrepreneurial attack where you know it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter how good I am, it doesn't matter you know how awesome my marketing materials are and my speeches are and my content is and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter and it's like a cloud of locusts descending and I can't see anything, I can't hear anything and what, what I need to do and what I teach other people to do is recognize number one what's going on. You're in storyland. You're in the it's not going to matter anyway storyland. And then we start to look at how we can step back from that and looking at where impact does happen, you know, where effort is making a difference and not just like being like, oh yeah, totally making a difference, great, see you later, on a five million other things, really sitting with the fact that it, no matter how small a difference something made, it still made a difference. And we put that thing with another thing with another thing and you build momentum. And always coming back to the process. Because it is a process. I don't think that anybody ever gets to any point in life and like doesn't have to deal with old stories in some way. Now I do think I do believe, and I know this to be true, that we get to a point where um, we can hear them, but they're not so intrusive. And then we start to not hear them so often. Or they don't last as long. So they're there, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's part of the human experience. It's what we do in response that really matters. So yesterday when I was having a giant attack of like nothing I do is ever going to matter, um, to really look at that particular day and pick it apart. What did I accomplish? Where did I create movement? Where were my points of inspiration? Because nothing gets someone out of an old story quicker <laughs> or more effectively than inspiration. Those old stories cannot hold up against inspiration. They just can't. They just can't. Inspiration takes up a lot of room. And thank God for that. <laughs> because those stories, man, they just want to get in all the nooks and crannies. They really do. And, um, you know, we just, we don't have to live with them stuck there. We just don't. We just don't. And what I see with my clients uh, who really start to release old stories is um, they feel inspired in whatever work they're doing, whether they're working for themselves or working for somebody else. 
they start to feel more connected to the things that they're really meant to do whether or not like those things are in like full manifestation at that time right they start to feel that they start to take risks instead of seeking safety because that's what we do when we step into big vision we start taking risks we sort of leave safety behind and you know they they see their businesses start to move forward they see their work start to move forward they see relationships with the people around them really start to change because they're no longer living by old stories that are keeping the blinders on and keeping them stuck I see the same in myself which is really awesome that's how I know I'm making an impact even even when the stories come up <laughs> and it's amazing so let's see what else do I want to say you guys have been listening contently no real questions I feel sort of like I'm at uh, a 12-step meeting hello my name is Shannon and uh, my story is it's not gonna matter anyway <laughs> oh, but it does so thank you guys so much um, for letting me share this with you um, it is hard it really is uh, because I don't want that to be me I don't and you know what it's not me it's an old story so if you have old stories you want to work through if you want to get really connected to your vision and what you're really meant to do uh, check out the links that I'm gonna throw up here in just a second uh, one is a resource really simple resource guide to things that you can do to really boost your creativity in a very simple way um, and then the other is going to be a link to my website and if you have questions about anything if you have anything inside that says I think I might want to do this reach out reach out I'd love to have a conversation I'd love to answer your questions and more than anything I'd love to know where you're at and what you're working on um, it's one of my favorite things really so let me know what you're working on and I will catch you tomorrow I have not decided on a time yet um, so we will see I will announce and uh, I hope that you guys have a great rest of the day and I will catch you later. Bye bye. Trying to press.